part of what she teaches is what she calls a Mandela consciousness or a dignity consciousness, which is tapping into that part of our own dignity that nobody can take away. And she talks about um, part of Nelson Mandela's autobiography, Long Walk to Freedom, which I, I, I'm sort of assuming that you all know who Nelson Mandela is. Is that correct? Okay. <laughs> so when he w was arrested with his colleagues and went to Robben Island, they were sort of asking themselves, what is it that the guards are trying to do? And, and they realized pretty quickly that the guards were trying to break their confidence and to break them down and to take away their dignity. And he was like, oh, that's easy. Nobody can do that. Because I know that what we were doing was correct. I know that we have inherent dignity. I know that I'm worth it. So, and, and he kept telling himself that and, and drawing on that as no matter how badly he was treated, no matter how badly he, he was beaten, no matter um, how horrible the conditions were in prison. Um, how many of you have seen the, the movie Invictus? So you, you might remember from that, and, and we're gonna, I'm, I'm going to recite something from that in the beginning, uh, in a minute, that Mandela said himself, he had memorized this poem, in, uh, Invictus, um, and, in, and that was one of the things that he said helped get him through that time in prison. Um, so no matter how badly somebody else treats us and no matter w how they may violate our dignity, it doesn't mean that we're unworthy. We have to remember that we're not victims. We have to remember that we do not have to ever look at ourselves the way that they look at us. Um, I actually just saw uh, uh, the, a new movie that's out on Netflix by, about Quincy Jones called Quincy, and he repeats that also. And he said that that was a very important concept in his life growing up because he grew up with nothing, and if you look at all he achieved, it's unbelievable. Um, so we may betray our dignity, but it will never betray us. It's always there. And it's always there for us to tap into, no matter how badly we've been treated. Um, and the poem, and this was the part that really spoke to me, um, it matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. And that's repeated in, in the film Invictus, and that's, that is the, the passage that Mandela was, was saying to himself all through his time at Robben Island.